Okay, I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. If, if you haven't noticed from my voice, I'm, I'm a little salty right now because I tried recording this before. I, just, I think I did pretty well. But I, <laughs> the recording stopped and it didn't save. So I'm a little salty. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get to the, the exam. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember everything I did. Okay, let's go. As far as the oracle goes in, Deku gets first place, actually being Momo. <clears throat> now, we get to the practical exam, the explanation. And just like in canon, Ida, she interrupts President Mike to do the whole ya ya ya, what about this robot? Shame on you, A, and everything. And then, she turns around and points directly at Izuku. It's like, and what is that doing here? Like, Deku, he's just trying to listen like, what? It's like, what is this male doing here in this school for heroes? Like, I'm trying to be a hero. Like, impossible. Males don't have quirks. You do not belong here. Deku, like, the audacity of this bitch. Which, Deku, he calmly just stands up. First, you don't know anything about me. Second, there are no rules that say a male can't attend UA. All I have to do is do well in the theoretical exam and this one. That is it. So, if you don't mind, would you kindly sit down and let Miss President Mike continue her explanation? Is she's like. How dare you! It's like, then President Mike said, like, Yeah, he is right. There are no rule against it. And yes, as for the zero pointer, I was about to say something about that until you interrupted. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Not you! I'm talking to Miss Mike. Apologize to him too. It's like, Do I have to? Yes. I'm sorry. And he just sits back down, ashamed. And Deku, he, he sits back down with a smug look on his face with Bongo saying, I can't believe he actually did that shit. By now, yeah, she does know that he's actually a, a he, but don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. <laughs> just say she found out some way, somehow. <clears throat> anyway, it's about to begin. Deku senses everyone staring at him like, I can't believe it was the guy here. They, they're whispering out all talk. Some of them are attacking shit. It's like, I bet he, can, you know, he can't do shit. Like, well, he's just going to get himself killed. Then Ia, Ia's glaring daggers at Deku because, yeah, she's, she, she is very mad. <laughs> like, oh, I can't wait to see this whole thing blow up in his face. And Deku, he's like, okay. <clears throat> Y'all like Sarah? All right, peep this. And yeah, Deku takes off his shirt and bears his wings. He, his wings are just uh, outstretched in all their glory. Everyone is like, uh, he is. Oh, 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 oh dear. I, I, I don't think I can stay mad at him. Deku, yes, he, he's looking like this. He, he's about to, to remove uh, his pants too, but he's like, Nah, just one button. Just I, I, need, I need to tease them a little bit more. Just they're, they're closing their eyes, and as soon as President Mike says go, they don't hear her. And Deku, he flies out of there, which actually does get their attention. Like, oh shit, we, we I can't believe this. We, we were distracted by the eye candy. We got we we gotta get out of there. We got we gotta move. We gotta get some points. Deku, he's. He's laughing his ass off like, I can't believe that worked. It's like they've never seen a guy before. This is, this is too funny. <laughs> oh, and Deku, he's, he's just destroying robot after robot. He's punching them. He's lifting them up with stuff. And he's just crushing them into a ball. And he is just having the time of his life. But then he's like, you know what? Let me show you exactly what, what they're getting. But he raises his hand, lifting up every single remaining robot that hasn't been destroyed. And just by closing the palm of his hand, 
destroys them, crushes them completely. Everyone is dumbfounded. The participants, the teachers, everybody. It's like, what the hell? He has a. I thought it was just. A, I. Ian doesn't know what to say. Like, I risked pissing off someone like that. And then he walks out of it. Hey, Mike, like, uh. We're going to continue this later. Deku was like, uh, oh, do you want me to s stay for the rest of the test then? Like, no! You. If, if there was a class above class 1A, you, don't, you would already be in it. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. And he just gives her a slight wink and as he walks away, she, her heart speed hits the beat. Like, oh, I can't wait for you to be legal. You're gonna be all mine. Everyone. <laughs> but she said that. Out loud, but so, did I just say that? Yes, everyone, everyone just yells out. Yes, you did. Deku's he he looks back at her and smirks as he's just walking away with his hands in his pockets. He he gets his uh, shirt back and yeah, because he was surely throughout this whole test. And he waits for his uh, whole his whole thing, and he's like, oh yeah, of course I got first place. No one else can do what I do. I made sure of it. Heck, I trained my ass off just to get to this level. Which yeah, he trains a lot because he wants his powers to be out the tippy top. <laughs> and yeah, first day of U8, he's looking around, so, huh? Let's see, where's my class? Where's it? Where's it? Ah, he sees that big ass door. Huh. Do we have giants? Can they go here too? He opens the door and everyone looks at him. He like, you know, dashes towards him, so, bowing her head. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to be so rude and everything. He's like, yes, you did. But, given how society is, yeah, I forgive you. Thank you so much. I, I, I mean it. Thank you. Thank you for not being mad at me. I am a little mad, but I forgive you because I want to be a hero, and since you're here, so do you. And yeah, I forgive you. And yes, she she walks away in a robotic manner, like the EO we all know and love. And Deku, he's okay. That's that was <sighs> a pain. Yes. Now let me try to get some sleep while I can. In which, yeah, he goes to sleep. Oraka, she sees him and's like, there he is. And she slams her hand on the desk, waking Deku up like, what the fuck? He looks at her and she has an angry ass expression on her face like You like what me? Yes, what what about me? Like, she she starts wringing his neck and you you took so many points away from us like, Which the other girls are hearing this like, wait what? Like, and he explains that they were in the same testing grounds and yeah Deku took away a lot of points with one quick move uh, quick a crazy amount of display of power but, whoa no wonder she's pissed and she's still reading Deku's neck and he's like I'm sorry please <sighs> no apologize to me right while she's still wringing his neck like I can't do that while you're choking me it's like, uh, oh which Deku he gets out from his desk and does the bow of complete sincere sorriness. Like, I'm so sorry that I've taken away so many of your points, at which I humbly hope you accept my most humble of humble apologies. Which, her with a proud looking uh, look is a. Yes, I, I forgive you. You may be seated. That Deku was like, oh, I want, oh, 
I re no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this bitch. Just what one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna get her. And this hour just shows up. So like, All right, everyone in your seats. And she sees Dick. He's like, Oh, uh, you're Midoriya. Uh, nice to see you again. What? Everyone's looking at Dick. Like, how do you know her? I like, uh, well, as you can tell, I have a quirk, considering I'm here. And yeah. She, she was one of those people that actually showed up. Because, yeah, Deku... Let, let me explain something here. In this world where only women have quirks, guys don't have the quirk gene for some reason. When Deku was, re was placed inside that body, God actually gave him the quirk gene. So, we don't have to worry about any Nephilims. Believe me, they can be a pain in the ass to deal with. <clears throat> Anywho, Deku, he, what, co what comes down to it? He, yeah, he's a, like, yeah. As soon as I, as I was known to be having a quirk, people didn't take to it that well, and one thing that's another, yada yada yada. Uh, now we're here. Oh, okay, okay. Which I was like, okay, everyone, uh, let's go. We're going to have a quirk assessment. Izuku, you don't have to participate. They're like, that, that's not fair. Believe me, it is. Yeah, and Naraka just shaking their heads. Well, nodding their heads. Yes, like, yes, it, it's fair. Take it. No, no, no. I might as well participate just, just, just for their sake. I, I'll participate. Are you sure? Yeah. In which they're like, the ones that weren't there, like, to see Deku's display of powers, like, oh yeah, let's see, let's see this blow up in his face. Let's, let's see him make a complete and total full of himself. And then, as I would just start giving them their uniforms, and like, Deku's like, <clears throat> Excuse me, um, wh where am I going to change? They start glaring at, at him. Manel starts looking at him with some lustful eyes. Like, oh, that's right. We, we, we don't really have boys here, do we? Just starting to get a little bead of drool going down her face. But don't worry, we've, uh, We've accounted uh, for you being here, and we actually had a locker room built in right next to the girls. Okay, so I got my own space. That's good. That's good. Thank you. One witch, as soon as Deku actually gets there, he's just rubbing and everything. He putting on uniform. Well, he's like, wait a minute. He. He turns his head and actually sees, yeah, there's a hole there. He he walks right up to his, yeah, no, no. He get he gets out a piece of gum he had and just starts chewing it and plugs the hole, which he instantly hears, no! The the gateway to paradise is gone. Manetta. Man, that girl thirsty. As for the whole quirk assessment, Deku, he he exceeds on everything. He's first place on everything. Oh, he, and Vandy, he matches it. The grip test, he destroys the machine. Speed, he's already there before I could even click the button. Yeah. And Margo, yeah, she is mad that Deku's there. But on the other hand, she does know, yeah, he has power. He, man, he deserves to be here. He's earned his way here. Now, for the heroes versus villains! <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the tease the same. Araka, she's still a little bit mad at Deku for stealing all them points. I mean, hell, who wouldn't? 
Deku, he's like, uh, I, I said I was sorry. When are you going to forgive me? I did forgive you. I'm just still pissed. But fair enough. Anywho, uh, what's the plan? I, I don't know. Uh, ah, I know exactly what to do. Really? In which Deku, he makes two illusions. One of him and one of Oraka. Wait, you can do that? Yeah, I can. So, wait, hey, they're pretty lifelike, huh? Except you can't touch them. He just, he just pushes his hand, just waving them through. He's like, wow, it's like, that's that's pretty impressive. He's like, yeah, but it doesn't really. I wish they actually were solid. He's like, really? Why? And he just actually reaches his hand and tries to scream with the fake over rock his boobs. She, she, but she just slaps him. He's like. How dare you! I, like, I what? Well, I didn't do anything. So, yes, you did. You squeezed my. And then she's like, "Oh, <sighs> right." And Dick is, he has a devilish grin on his face. Like, oh yes, here comes my revenge. This is my revenge now. Which as soon as. Uh, Oh my, said, ahem, uh, you may begin. Deku, he whispers something to the other him, and like, and the old rock, the fake old rock is, is like, understood. In which, Deku, well, at least the fake one, starts to, to undress, and, well, the fake old rock, she has, she has a, some popcorn, just, just enjoying the show, while holding, while clutching a, a bunch of singles, Everyone's like, Oraka's like, her her hands are covering her eyes, and, and you know she she's opening her her fingers just trying to try see see what she's not trying to see, but so, but then Digger says that's enough, and yeah the fake him is down to his boxer shorts. So she's yelling out, why are you doing this? Like, that's a distraction, like for Kotsky. What? Yeah, most likely Kasuki's going to be coming for me. She knows me. We, we went to school together. But still, we need to distract her. And wait, why would we need a distraction? Then he stretches his wings, grabs Oraka, and flies up to the top. Well, the fake him and Oraka go straight into the building through the front door. And <laughs> Bakugo gets there in half the time. Cause I mean that, yeah, she knows how strong Deku is. She needs to get this over with as fast as possible. But when she sees him and nearly exposed, she's like, "What are you doing? You're looking at that, you idiot!" Like, oh, what's wrong, Kaski? Don't you like what you see? She's blushing. Like, ah. She does, but she doesn't want him to know that. She, she's about to explode him, charging full force, but then the fake old rocker grabs the fake Deku by the shoulders and kisses him. I mean, it's a deep kiss. Koski is, is stopped dead in her tracks. Just looking at this, she's feeling a mix of emotions, anger, jealousy, heartbrokenness, betrayal, sadness. She, She's, she doesn't know what the thing until she steps out of it and goes str charging straight through them. Literally. She's like, wait, what? When she gets a message from Ia, like, Ia! Ia, what's going on? He's like, they're here! He's like, wait, how did... Then she's like, that bastard! And yeah, she she charges there, but for the time she gets there, Deku, he he waited specifically for her to get there before he touched the bombs. Oh my, like hero hero team wins. And when the when they're exiting out the bin, bu building, they make they make it to where the fake Deku and Oraka were, and they're still kissing. Oraka, she's like, ah! she glares. Daggers at Deku. Like, you made them go away. Like, 
Why? Don't, don't, don't you want to watch? Like, no! And he's like, he just snaps his fingers. And, and they disappear. But before they disappear, the Thago Raka looks at her herself and is like, What? Were you jealous? She, 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 stole, she stole some jazz at Oraka. Like, no, why, why did you have to ruin my fun? Just because I get to kiss him? And she leaves, and she just disappears with Oraka. Leaving Oraka and that thought, like, I can't believe I just got. I, I just threw shade at my own self. That, that's some bullshit. When they get to the monitoring room, De Deku gets stared down by everyone. Oh my. Her arms are crossed like. You did not have to do that, young Midoriya. I know I didn't have to. But I really wanted to. Then, then, yeah, he, he sees... He's looking at the girls like... They have nosebleeds, especially Mineta. Like, and she... And she... He sees that Momo... She, she's... She has... She, he sees something in her hands. Like... Momo, what's that? She... She's hiding it. It's like... Nothing. He... He just vanishes from her sight and just looks like... He grabs her hands like she drops it. It's like, oh, so, so that's so that's what how it is. Like, uh, it, it's not like that. Like, he, what he sees is a stack of hundreds. <laughs> but she, yeah, she she was enjoying the show. She she's about to get you to pay Deku a tip for uh, you know using his assets. <laughs> oh hell. Uh, there is something wrong with me, but the fact the fact that you guys are still watching my content shows that you, you enjoy it too. <laughs> Either way, and all the other battles go the same as canon. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing really really there. It's just when Manetta walks out the deck, he's like, "I want to kiss." He's like, what? You kissed Oraka. I want to kiss too. He's like, but that wasn't me. He's like, yes, it was. How do you figure? Because that that was an illusion made by you, so technically it was you. Uh, uh, don't fight my logic. Give me a kiss. I really don't want to. Give me a kiss, fine. And he just kisses Manila. Before you ask me if this is a Manila X Deku ship, one, he's going to be with all the girls of UA. As well as, but there's only gonna be one main girl, and it's sure as hell ain't Mineta. Before you crucify me in the comments, Mineta doesn't like, look like Mineta. Okay? I already have a, a main girl pit, chosen to. Here, here's what Mineta looks like here. This is the Mineta I'm using. You. Yeah! Did think I was gonna use use that version of Manila? No! No! Good. Okay. Let, let me explain. Deku? Yes, he is gonna lay down some pipe. But, I'm through a series of time skips and some, uh, such and such, uh. It's gonna be not not with the people of one with the class one A, not yet. Like I said in the last part, he's gonna use illusions to actually score some wh some women. Okay. So before you you know uh, call the FBI on me. Oh, who am I kidding? A bunch of y'all probably gonna comment down down below. The FBI thing, but yeah, that that's that's what's that's what's happening. So calm down. As for the, the USG deck, I'm going to do that the next part. Okay, but just remember, this is the manila I'm using. Okay, 
And with that, I am out. The peace and the love, children. Oh shit! I, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, just just ignore that. Just ignore that. <clears throat> anyway, like I said, I'm out. The peace and the love, children.